Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Signs and symbols. The 20th century. I sentence you. The movies. In the bookstore. And the animal kingdom. Player the one. The star on Nevada's flag is this metallic color because it represents Nevada's state mineral. Yes, player one. <laughs> right. Please. A sheaf of this grain symbolizes what else? Agriculture on Ohio State Seal. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. Here's Kelly. In the 21st century, International Morse code added its first new character in decades. It combines A and C to symbolize this sign. Yes, player one. Oh. Here is what we wanted. The at sign. Player one. Not the Easter, but the prairie type of this flower is the floral emblem of Saskatchewan. Player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one? From the Latin for triple leaf, it's the name of the official Girl Scout emblem. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one? In the 1920s, this fascist leader of Italy set up a puppet regime in Albania and reconquered Libya. Yes, player one? Yeah. Hey, you're right. <laughs> you get to... Elizabeth II succeeded her father, this man who died unexpectedly at age 56. It's player one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Player one. On February 8, 1904, Japanese ships attacked this country's fleet at Lushun, Manchuria, beginning a war. Here's what we were looking for Russia. You get. On February 15, 1965, Canada's new flag, which featured an 11 pointed one of these, flew for the first time. Here's the correct response. A maple leaf. Please. On Valentine's Day, 1989, the Ayatollah Khomeini showed no love for this author's satanic verses, giving him a death sentence. Here is what we wanted. Salman Rushdie. You again, player one. It's used in abbreviations and initials, as well as to end sentences. Okay, player one. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah! Woo! You get to... Burton Braley contradicted himself and wrote, This is a word you mustn't end a sentence with. Here's what we were looking for. A preposition. Player one. Of I did it, did you do it, or do it. It's the imperative sentence. Yes, player one? <laughs> That's not it. Here's the response we were looking for. Do it. Player one. This type of sentence has multiple independent clauses and no dependent clauses. Okay, player one. <coughs> Sorry, that's wrong. Here's what we were looking for. Compound. You get the name of this punctuation mark comes from a Greek word meaning piece cut off. Here is what we wanted. The comma. 
Player one, Jack Palance's character is described as a saddlebag with eyes in this 1991 comedy. Here's what we wanted. City Slickers. Please. In the film Music and Lyrics, Hugh Grant plays the Jeopardy Think music written by this creator of Jeopardy. Yes, player one? <laughs> player one. Irene Bedar, the speaking voice of this heroine in an animated Disney film, played her mother in the new world. Here's what we were looking for. Pocahontas. Please. The 2003 film Pieces of April starred this actress who had yet to meet and marry Tom Cruise. Here's what we wanted. Katie Holmes. You get... Answer. <laughs> the Daily Double. You are currently in the lead. Player one, please. And the Daily Double clue. Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe sang about being two little girls from Little Rock in this 1953 movie musical. Oh. That's not right. Here's what we were looking for. Gentlemen prefer blondes. You again, player Fever, one. Fever, 1793, depicts a teen struggle during the 1793 epidemic of this colorful fever in Philadelphia. Yes, player one. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one. Ahab's wife tells a whale of a tale about a character mentioned briefly in this classic novel. Here's what we were looking for. Moby Dick. Player one. Hope Was Here is a book about a teen waitress at the Welcome Stairways Diner in this dairy state. It's player one. Yeah! <laughs> Please take a bite out of the Vampire Armand, the sixth book in her Vampire Chronicles. The correct response is Anne Rice. Player one. A secret code called New Shoe is pivotal to the plot of Snowflower and the Secret Fan, set in this country. Here's the correct response China. You get to pick. These animals of the order Chiroptera are the only mammals that can truly fly. Player one. Yeah! That's correct. <laughs> Player one. This feisty Thai fish blows sticky bubbles to make a nest, then puts the eggs in its mouth and blows them in the nest. Player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player one. Muskrats and wood rats belong to this order of mammals. Let's hear it. Player one. Good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one. And here's Kelly. If you see one of these under the sea, look, but don't touch. The spines can be poisonous. Yes, player one. Good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And now the thousand dollar clue. Fruit and lizards, yum, are favorite foods of the Kowati, also known by this longer name. Here's what we were looking for. The Kowatamundi. <laughs> the Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Clues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. South American countries. Under the sea. U.S. history. The sporting life. Characters in literature. And French class. Let's this South American country was named for a man born in 1451 in Genoa. Here's the response we were looking for. Colombia. Player one. Montevideo is its largest city. 
Here's the correct response. Uruguay. You again? And yeah. <laughs> one of the daily doubles. And you have the lead. So what's your wager? All right, here's your clue. This country's almost 4,000 mile coastline is the longest of any in South America on the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Here's what we were looking for. Chile. Select. It's the South American country whose capital city lies the closest to zero degrees latitude. Here's the response we were looking for. Ecuador. Player one. And here's Jimmy. This country's Bahia Mangrove ecoregion extends from Reconcavo to Todos os Santos Bay. Here's what we were looking for. Brazil. You get to pick. What do you mean I'm funny looking? I'm just this fish, also known as an anemone fish. Player one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Select. It warms the depths of my heart to know you're about to tell me the name of this small edible clam. Let's hear it, player one. We're talking about the cockle. We re this rare fish, discovered in 1938, has been called a living fossil. Player one? No, that's not right. Here's the correct response. The coelacanth. You get to... Kelly? These colorful organisms of the class Anthozoa include blue, precious, and horny species. Player one? That's right, <laughs> way to go. Select again. The blue whale is the largest member of this order of animals. It's player one. Here's the correct response. Cetacea. Player one. On August 21st, 1959, it became our 50th state. Okay, player one. Woo! That's it. <laughs> Please. In 1963, he spoke of his dream that his children would one day not be judged by the color of their skin. Yes, player one. That's it. <laughs> Please. It's the period from 1920 to 1933 when alcoholic beverages were illegal. Okay, player one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> player one. Here's Jimmy. This U.S. company introduced the first TV dinner in 1954. Yes, player one. Here's what we were looking for. Swanson. We ret Stephen Douglas proposed the act that repealed the Missouri Compromise and created Kansas and this territory. Okay, player one. Nope. We're talking about Nebraska. Player one, you can weigh up to 147 pounds in this boxing class between lightweight and middleweight. Player one. No, that's not right. Here is what we wanted. Welterweight. Please. In 1967, Memorial Coliseum in this West Coast city hosted the first Super Bowl. Green Bay beat Kansas City 35 to 10. Here's the correct response. Los Angeles. We returned. In 2006, Massachusetts made this sport, invented there, the official sport of the Commonwealth. Let's hear it, player one. Nope. 
Here is the response we were looking for. Basketball. Player one. Here's Kelly to start us off. Popular in the British Isles and the Commonwealth, it's the sport being played here. Player one. <laughs> Please. This ABC show debuted April 29th, 1961, with Jim McKay as host. The correct response is Wide World of Sports. Player one. This treacherous pirate in Treasure Island has a pet parrot named Captain Flint. Here's the response we were looking for. Long John Silver. Select a gray spider named Charlotte brings about a series of miracles to keep this pig from the butcher's knife. Here's what we were looking for. Wilbur. Player one. Okay. Sarah. The traditional masks of comedy and tragedy were used by characters in ancient Greek drama. They're thought to have represented the twin sides of this god of wine and revelry. Okay, player one. Correct. You've got some money again. Select again. Tom Sawyer saw him murder Dr. Robinson in the cemetery and testified against him in court. Here's the response we were looking for. Injun Joe. We ret This E.L. Dr. O. title character joins Dutch Schultz's gang as a 15-year-old in 1930s New York City. Here's the response we were looking for. Billy Bathgate. Please pick a... Fin de siècle refers specifically to the ending of one of these time periods. Here's the response we were looking for. A century. Player one. In French, the English channel is called la manche, meaning this part of a shirt or coat. Okay, player one. Oh. Here is what we wanted. The sleeve. You again. Answer. <laughs> The other daily double. And you have the lead. What are you going to wait? All right, here's your clue. Literally half world. It's a class of women of dubious reputation. Right. Selecting. Literally a la mode doesn't mean with ice cream, but this two word phrase. Here's the response we were looking for. In style. And the $2,000 clue? It's the branch of cooking devoted to prepared meat products such as ham and pate. Here's the correct response. Charcuterie. You will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. Now Final Jeopardy coming right up right now with this category. 19th century inventions. So, what's your wager? Let's see what it is. Here's the clue. One description of it said, its spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. What did you say? And this correct response will add how much to your score? This makes <laughs> you our new champion, player one. So congratulations. Thanks for playing, everybody. See you next time.